If this legislature collectively decides that legislating hate against children is our priority, then I am going to make it painful, painful for everyone. Because if you want to inflict pain upon our children, I am going to inflict pain upon this body. And I have nothing, nothing but time. And I am going to use all of it. If people think that they're going to wear me down, if yesterday didn't show you that you can't wear me down, you cannot wear me down. I want her to be my best friend. I want to reach out to her and I want to hang out with her because she is exactly the kind of woman that I gravitate toward. I love that. Who You were probably wondering, who is that woman? Well, she's actually a Democratic state senator in Nebraska. Her name is Michaela Kavanaugh. And get this, she's on her third week filibustering an anti-transgender GOP bill. She does not want it to does not want it to become law, which is why she's engaging in this filibuster, which again has been taking place for three weeks. I want to give you some more details. First on the bill itself, which is similar to other red state bills that we've discussed on this show, unfortunately. The so-called Let Them Grow Act, Legislative Bill 574, which advanced to the Senate floor in late February, would bar transgender and non-binary people under the age of 19 from obtaining gender affirming health care. Now, just a quick statement about where I, I stand on this. I do not believe that gender affirming care should be banned by law for minors. I believe that we should allow parents to make the right decisions through going through the process with the, with the doctors, having conversations with medical professionals about it. I do not believe that it makes sense for the government to interfere with these incredibly important decisions. Now, if they're needs to be more attention paid to a standardized model of, I don't even know what the right word is, but basically making sure that the doctors are doing the right screenings and doing the due diligence so they don't jump to conclusions and offer treatments that the minder might regret later, that's fine, let's have that conversation. But overall, I'm against banning it because there are instances in which a minor identifies with a gender that is different from what this individual was assigned at birth. And having to go through puberty, having to go through developing a body that does not, that they don't resonate with, that, that they feel they're trapped in. Again, it's not up to me, it's not up to you, it's not up to the government to decide. It's up to the parents with the help and counsel of medical professionals, period. That is where I stand on that. Now, let's get back to State Senator Kavanaugh here because she's incredible. How is she doing this in a Republican controlled Senate? Well, Republicans do hold 32 seats in the state Senate compared to Democrats 17, but it takes 33 votes to overcome a filibuster. So Kavanaugh has spent every day on the Senate floor introducing dozens of amendments to other pieces of legislation to slow down the Senate's business. See, this is what a filibuster actually looks like. It's very different from the legislative filibuster in the United States Senate, which doesn't require any hard work. It doesn't require anyone speaking for hours and hours, days and days, weeks and weeks on end. They just get to block bills through voting to block it. That's the filibuster they do. But in the state Senate in Nebraska, things are a little different. So why is she against the bill? Well, Kavanaugh said that 58% of transgender and non-binary youths in her state seriously considered suicide in 2020, according to a 2021 survey by the Trevor Project, and more than one in five said they had attempted suicide. The children of Nebraska deserve to have somebody stand up and fight for them, Kavanaugh told the Associated Press. I just love watching a Democrat, even if it's on a local level, fight like this. And it's inspiring to see it. Maybe it'll light a fire under the ass of, you know, congressional Democrats when it comes to, you know, federal politicians. We'll see. But curious what your take on this is, RM. I don't know where this is going to lead. I think Republicans ultimately might get their way. But I do think there's value in seeing a Democrat fight the way that she is. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. I agree with you on the fighting spirit. 
is great, you know. And I get, I, you know, I haven't watched everything that she's she said, but it would be nice to if if she hit on the point that you hit on a little bit, where this is, you know, these rare cases are for professionals and parents to have to deal with this, and it's a, you know, it's a very difficult situation. It's for them to deal with, and this is something that's been dragged by these conservative lawmakers, you know, into using these people as political pawns. Mm-hmm. Would like to see her press on that a little bit more, but yeah. otherwise, it's great. Yeah, absolutely. Because look, I, I do want to just say, you know, the previous commentary that I had on this issue was a little misinformed, right? So I kind of had a. a My take on things like puberty blockers was just ill informed because I was under the impression that there are no side effects, everything's fine. But there are side effects, okay? Which is why countries like Finland, Sweden, they decided to pause on uh, hormones and puberty blockers specifically because they were concerned about bone density, they were concerned about future fertility. So it's not, you know, it's not completely clear that it's 100% safe. And I get those who are, you know, the non bigoted individuals who are legitimately concerned about that, I hear you. But again, ultimately, when you consider the prevalence of suicidal ideation among minors who identify as transgender, you have to balance those two things out and make the best decision for the minor. And I don't think that any elected lawmaker is in the right position to make that decision on behalf of the parent (laughs) or on behalf of the minor who identifies as transgender. Again, I really think that's up to uh, the family with the counsel of actual medical professionals. Okay, so with that said, um, I do wanna go to one final thing on this story. So other reports uh, support the views that she mentioned, right? The suicidal ideation, we've talked about that a lot on the show. Uh, In a radio interview last week, Kavanaugh said that even her Republican colleagues are frustrated with the culture war against transgender people. But you know, they're too cowardly to say that publicly. They'll just, they'll hit her up later. They'll be like, yo, you know, it's culture wars messed up, I'm not for it either. I mean, my votes say otherwise, but still, this is wrong. She says this, what has been expressed to me is a frustration over discussing policies like this instead of discussing policies that most of them ran to be here discussing. This is what a culture war looks like apparently. What I'm asking of them is to rise up and say that if this really isn't who they are, Rise up and say that and stop having private conversations with me telling me how much you don't like the bill, how much you don't want to be focusing on this issue. And rise up and say something about it, I'm challenging them. But the problem, Senator Kavanaugh, is that the other issues that they purport to wanna talk about tend to be issues that they don't actually want to talk about, right? Maybe their donors don't want them to legislate on those issues. I, I, I'm guessing she's referring to bread and butter issues. Pretty sure Republican lawmakers don't actually want to talk about those issues. <laughs> Let's keep it real because they're unpopular on economic related topics. So they're not going to speak up. They're going to continue telling you they don't like these policies behind the scenes, but they'll keep voting on them. And it's absolutely disgusting to see it. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.